Hello everyone, TechSpeeder here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the latest Windows 10 build, 15007. Microsoft has been really busy this week in pushing out builds. Just a couple days ago they pushed out another build, 15002, which was a doozy. It had tons of changes, tons of updates, features, and improvements. But this build's a little more incremental, not as quite as many improvements and features but there has been some so let's get right to it let's go and look at Microsoft Edge Microsoft has continued to bring more functionality to the browser and in the last bill 15002 they brought the functionality to dock tabs basically they're called tabs you set aside you can either pick up a project kind of dock it there and then pick it up when you're ready for it. So now they've brought the feature in to share these tabs. Say that you're working on something and you wanna share these tabs to someone. Now you have the ability to share those tabs via maybe your mail app or if you'd have more apps installed, you would probably get some more options, but the ability to share those tabs. So maybe you're working on a project or thinking about buying a new car or something, you can kind of do your research and then share it with somebody um, that maybe would have interest in it or you want to get someone's opinion so neat addition there okay another one is the ability to run a download and this has been severely lacking in my opinion that's something Internet Explorer has had for a very long time so it's nice to see that they brought this addition to the Microsoft Edge browser so if we would hit download here we now have the run option here instead of having to save the download to our computer as well as here's the save option and then if you hit the up arrow here's the save as option so we now have three different options there and it's good to see that before it was save save as and cancel so now we have run save and save as great addition there and definitely on board with that one okay and Microsoft has also made some changes to the importing your data from another browser into Edge. Now, to be honest, I could not get this to work because every time I click settings here, which you'll see right now, it just freezes the browser and I can't go anywhere. But from what I read from the Microsoft documentation, they're making it easier to import your data from another browser. So you can import your favorites, browsing history, save passwords, and that sort of thing so that is supposed to be there now of course edge has been freezing up on me here which is because it's a pre-production build so not really worried about that but anyway it does seem to be freezing when I go into settings okay so they also made some setting changes so let's just open up settings okay so Microsoft made a couple changes in settings something that a lot of people probably won't recognize but the scroll bar along the right hand side here is really small so you can see it's kind of out of your way now if you're wanting to use the, the bar you scroll over there and it makes a bit so you can kind of grab it a little easier so that's a nice addition and they're also working on some of the highlighting and and shadows in the settings here so that it's not as annoying as previously one of the things I like the most probably from this build which it's still coming it's not totally full featured is when you click on the personalization tab and go to the themes setting okay not quite yet but shortly you'll be able to click on this little store icon and go to your Microsoft store to download themes which I think is an excellent idea the more traffic Microsoft can get into their app store the more people will use it and they really need to drive those numbers up so I think that's another good way for them to get more activity in the App Store okay in passing a couple other things they made some web note improvements in Microsoft Edge I personally really don't use that stuff but if, if you like that or use Edge in that manner they are giving you some more web note capabilities they're also making some changes to the apps for website so if let's say you're going to click on a link to go to Facebook that it will open up in the Facebook app instead or say you're going maybe to open a slack message or something and it opens up in the slack app so good again I don't know if I use them that much but that is there 
and Windows Hello enrollment improvements are coming as well, which for those who aren't familiar with Windows Hello is the biometric support built into Windows 10. Okay, they also are making some Cortana improvements. I don't really know how to demo this on a video, but they're making some improvements where say I have two computers and I'm working here on a SharePoint document or a Word document and save it to OneDrive. When I come go to my other computer, it'll pop up in the Action Center a quick link to some of the recent documents I've been working on, as well as let's say you had some open tabs in Microsoft Edge. Those recent tabs will show up in your Action Center. So they're trying to bring some improvements and sync across computers, some of the improvements they're working on right now. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the changes. Of course, there's a couple other small changes in the mobile build that I haven't really covered the mobile side of it. So if you want to read up on those, you can read that on Microsoft's site, which I will link in the description below. Okay, so there's a couple notable bugs in this build 15007. I'll call them notable bugs because there's tons of bugs, but these two you probably will see or may see. So if you see right here, I've got the holographic icon and Microsoft has confirmed that's a bug and that will be going away because I don't use the holographic Windows HoloLens on this computer. So that will be going away. And if you come under the Windows Update and Security setting, you'll see it says some settings are managed by your organization. Now, again, for some people that may be legit, maybe you are in an organization where they are managing your updates, but for most of us, this is just a standalone computer or a VM, and we're in control of the updates, so you don't need to worry about this. Microsoft confirmed that this is a bug and that it's because of an updated flight configuration for the insider preview builds. And yeah, it doesn't mean that you're being managed by anyone. So just thought I'd throw those two bugs out there. And there's one nasty bug right now with Quicken and it didn't come up just in this build, but it came up in, I believe 15002, which was the previous build out this week, is that Quicken has some trouble starting because it checks the .NET framework on the computer checks one of the registry keys and the registry key says this is .NET framework 4.7 and my, and even though there's still the older versions of .NET framework on your computer it's just checking that one registry key and then failing to start from what I understand so if you're running into that bug there is a fix in the registry that you can do I'll link that in the comment section below as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, please leave a thumbs up below and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Also, if you would like to see more information on these builds, let me know what you'd like to see on future videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.